Hi there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be creating this kind of like a spotlight card I guess. Um, this is an old, old stamp set from AliExpress and I will see if I can find it and link it down below. Really, you just want to use any kind of silhouette -y kind of images. So it's really just one of those times when you want to have a sort through your stamp collection and see what might go. This is one of my favourite stamp sets and it's definitely one of my favourite trees to use. I've used this stamp set so much. Um, I am going to use the little bunny off this second stamp set here. And again, this is from AliExpress, so I will try and find it. Um, but yeah, the tree and the little bird and maybe the sentiment are from um, that first stamp set. So I'm putting it all in my Misty. Um, a stamp positioner here does really help out. Maybe you could do it with an acrylic block too, but um, so I've just lined everything up and I'm going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and this is the card base that I have in my Misty at the moment. So it's a 110 pound Nina Solar White card base. So I'm stamping straight into the card base just with the black ink. And then once I'm done with stamping the card base, I decided that I wanted to add in the sentiment up the top. So this one says, wishing you a happy birthday. So I'm going to stamp that in as well. So I can just add it on again. It doesn't matter because everything is still in place. Now I'm going to put just a card panel, the card front. So this piece is an 80 pound piece of Nina Solar White. And I'm just going to ink everything up and do exactly the same thing. I usually do uh, a couple of presses down to make sure that the black ink is nice and dark and sort of um, no splotchy pieces anywhere on my stamp. Then I decided while I was going to do this is that I might even just do um, a couple of cards, but I would change the sentiment. And so I'm going to say, sending you sunshine. And so uh, the first one was a happy birthday card, and I have also used this sentiment heaps. I love sending you sunshine. I just feel like that's a real sort of happiness um, card, and there can be lots of reasons why you might give this card to somebody. So I could have absolutely have done a whole new scene, but I just chose to keep exactly the same scene. I felt like it was still appropriate for the card and just changing up the sentiment. So as I said, this is the card base that I'm stamping it on. So it's the folding card, side folding card. And then I'm going to put in just the card front, the card panel and stamp on it. So that's just the single piece of paper. This one is here. And making sure it's nice and dark and that I've got all the little spots. So here are the four pieces. So two of these are cards and two of these are just card fronts. And so I'm just giving them a quick dry because VersaFine Onyx Black is a pigment ink which is going to stay wet for a little bit longer. And this is where the colouring kind of comes in. So I have this little craft mat here that I can do inking on so that I can protect my little work surface there. And I was thinking about which colours I want to do. Uh, and so I'm going to pick this happy birthday card first. And all I need here is the um, card front. So I'm going to use some tumbled glass and some salty ocean to kind of create the um, upper part of this card. And spraying a little bit of water. And as I said, this is just the card panel, the single card front. It's just a single piece of paper. And I'm just going to kind of dab it in, smush it around a wee bit, and get some colour on there. I definitely want there to be some white spots on the card. I don't want the whole card to be all covered up. So once I think I've got enough, I'm going to stop. As I said, I'm using the Distress Oxide inks. However, you could use anything, like you could use gelatos, art crayons, watercolours, um, you could just water down normal paints, acrylic paints, uh, you could use like even things like Inca Gold or um, Zig markers. You could use anything that you can kind of water down and create this effect. You certainly don't have to use um, the oxide inks, even the distress inks, um, any dye inks you can kind of water down. It would all look great. Moving on to the Sending You Sunshine one, and I want this one to be slightly brighter colours. So I'm using some warm lipstick, some spiced marmalade, and some squeezed lemonade uh, to create this card. And this card, uh, what I was doing is kind of sticking my finger in each colour just to kind of take away the harshness of where I had put down the ink pad. Um, I found that if I did it just straight off, it kind of left some of those lines in. So 
So I found that if I used, uh, kind of put my finger in it a little bit, I got much softer lines, um, which is what I was after. And with this not being watercolour paper, this is just uh, normal paper, I don't want it to get too wet, so I am dabbing a little bit off with a paper towel, um, just some places that I got lots of um, ink and kind of water on there. So that's what I'm ending up with, and I'm going to use a heat gun to dry these. You could definitely leave them to dry it naturally, but I'm impatient, and my crafting time is always super limited. Um, so I have my pieces here, and I have these rectangle stitched dies. Now, you can use any shape under the sun. I did actually think about doing some um, triangles, or some diamonds, or some circles, but uh, for this, I kind of went plain Jane, and for this card in particular, I went super plain Jane because I just decided that I wanted to have one rectangle straight, um, you know, one big rectangle. So there's only kind of one piece that's highlighted or spotlighted uh, in the whole, on the whole front of the card. So this was kind of my safer option, and then my other option was I had a little more fun with. Through experience, you do kind of want to make sure that you cut your images um, with your die cutting. And by that, I mean you want your die cut to kind of cut through the middle of the silhouette or darker images that you've chosen to put on there. That way, it kind of does give it a really cool effect rather than kind of missing all of that um, and the color just starts. So you really get the cool effect from the uh, images being so now I'm just running through the exact same die, the same size, with some fun foam. This is just some white fun foam so that I can give these um, shapes some dimension. And then this is the second card here that I'm running through with two smaller rectangles. I'm going to run through the larger of these smaller rectangles once, and then I'm going to run through the smaller one twice. Uh, and as I said, I am trying to cut the images in half. So I cut the bird, just his tiny little tail off, and then the bottom of the tree and the bunny, and then the top of the tree with the last one. And again, doing exactly the same thing where I am running the same shapes through with some plain white fun foam so that I can give them some dimension. And once I have that all done, I'm ready to kind of put all my cards together. This is kind of the last part. I'm just using some liquid glue, but you could definitely use double-sided adhesive. Now, when you run through fun foam, it's going to be the same size as the shape, obviously. So I'm just using some scissors to trim it down just roughly. It doesn't really matter. No one's going to see it in particular, so that it's slightly smaller than the shape itself. So a little bit of liquid glue and then the fun foam, and I'm going to do that to all of them. And this project was pretty fun, actually. I really enjoyed this. I might do a couple of things different, maybe have some more images, or maybe I would do the placement of the rectangles a little bit differently if I were to do it next time, but it was fun to learn. So here I'm just kind of roughly placing them all, and you can get an idea of where the card is heading. So this is the card base, obviously, that I'm sticking them onto, and by using the stamp positioner, you have exactly the same picture on both um, the card front and the card base, so it's really easy to match them up. I do advise that uh, you look kind of directly on, though, and I know on camera it can look like I'm a little bit off, um, but I have to kind of tilt the card up to see so that I can see and make sure that things are exactly lined up. If you're doing it from an angle, you can be just slightly off. And with these with these cards, you really want to make sure that you kind of, yeah, you're right on. Now I have some jewel drops. That is rose water and I have orange marmalade. And then the yellowy kind of one is the limoncello. And I'm just going to put some drops of these around to kind of finish off the cards. It's been a wee minute or so since I've used these jewel drops, um, and I kind of felt like it just gave that little finishing touch to quite a simple looking card. These dry transparent with kind of just a tinge of the colour that you have used. So again, I've done exactly the same thing here, and I've just cut off a little bit of that rectangle from the fun foam to make it fit. And then this one in particular, you really want to line up really well because it has the words have been cut in half. And you want to make sure it's really easy to read. You don't want to make it difficult <laughs> or look like you've missed a couple of letters. And again, I'm going to use Sea Breeze and the Key Lime to do exactly the same thing and just put a few little drops around this one. 
but it does look quite cool with the little rabbits being cut in half and the tree trunk. Um, I like this technique and I think I will definitely give this one a go in the future as well. So that wraps up our two cards for today. Two um, of the same technique but just look slightly different. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you've found some inspiration that you will be able to um, have a go for yourself and try out some of these techniques. Thank you so much for watching. I so, so appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.